Mass Effect 2 is a darker story. It's a lot more personal. It's about Commander Shepard really trying to figure out what's going on in the universe. Human beings are going missing, entire colonies are being abducted. You know that it has something to do with the Reapers, and it also has something to do with this new force in the galaxy. It's a new enemy called the Collectors. The Collectors are able to arrive with this enormous ship. Very quickly, swarms of little bugs sweep out and they paralyze all of the people in the colony. And then at that point, it's very easy for the Collectors to gather up the people, put them into pods that keep them in stasis, and they're gone. Well, the Collectors are a very insect-like kind of species. They can fly in from anywhere. They're armed with like, advanced technology like, uh, like beam weapons. They're controlled by a single leader that it has the ability to possess them at any time. He can turn like a normal guy who's sort of not really, you know, all that dangerous, and then suddenly he's like the most dangerous guy on the battlefield. One reason to believe that the Reapers are somehow involved in, in all these human disappearances is the enemies that you'll see in Mass Effect 2. The Collectors have, for some reason, this uh, advanced technology that nobody else in the galaxy has, and, and the question arises, where are they getting that from? And the only logical answer seems to be the Reapers. The Reapers are somehow experimenting with assembling human beings together to create other types of constructs. We have abominations who are like suicide troops for the husks. The evolved version of sort of the, the husk is called a scion. Two or three human beings morphed together and then grafted onto a weapon. You're gonna fight something called a Praetorian. If you took 30 husks and crushed them together into like a flying suit of armor, he can get up really close to you and when he does, where he lands on the ground and just obliterates everything. The Geth are always gonna be a part of the Mass Effect universe. They were a huge part of the story. In the first game, their role is kind of reduced in this, but uh, we're gonna learn some very interesting things about the, the Geth. So for the Geth, we have a bunch of new weapons. We have uh, cloaking technology, we have plasma throwers, we have uh, heat-seeking missiles, we have combat drones. There are some characters that you'll meet that uh, are part of a, a Geth faction that actually has different beliefs. Legion is actually sort of a, a natural evolution of the Geth. Uh, before they were uh, sort of tied to their groups to, in order to maintain their sentience, but he's sort of uh, broken beyond that and uh, has the ability to, to think on his own. Legion is stalking you. He's obsessed with you. He's incorporated a part of your armor into his own. You need to track him down and find out why he's hunting you. We do not experience fear, but we understand how it affects you. Organics do not choose to fear us. It is a function of your hardware.